Now at five, a group of parents in Broward County are sharing concerns over the school district's fall reopening plan. They say the superintendent is ignoring the result of a recent survey. According to the group, they want an option to send their kids back to school full time. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer reports from Fort Lauderdale where she spoke with some of those parents. It's been months since students stepped foot into their schools, and in Broward County, it seems distance learning will be sticking around for some of the upcoming school year. For Cooper City moms Jennifer Herman and Anna Warburton, that's not okay. If parents feel co confident and comfortable that they can send their kids back, please let them. The two moms are part of a group in Broward County now fighting for the option to send their kids back to the classroom five days a week. We feel like we're not being heard. We want an option to send our children. When you look around, there are other counties and states that are giving that option to parents. I'm not sure why we're not getting that option. Broward County Schools Superintendent Robert Runcie told CBS4 last month his district was leaning toward a blended learning model for the next school year. Say 50% of students would go to school on Mondays and Thursdays, then they would learn from home for the rest of the week. That's not going to work for the majority of parents because, number one, a lot of parents are working parents. They, they can't afford to quit their jobs. They can't afford to put their kids in daycare three days a week. A survey sent out to parents showed 36% of parents want schools to fully reopen come fall. Feeling ignored, these moms and about 200 others hand delivered notes to Superintendent Runcy, including a note from Anna Warburton's daughter, who wrote to please open up our schools full time. These moms aren't saying every family should send their kids back to school five days a week come August, but they want the option for their kids. I mean, there's, there's always risk. There's risk walking out the door. There's risk going grocery shopping. I feel that if parents are willing to take that risk, we should be allowed to. You know, we're the parents. I feel that I have a lot more experience making health and safety decisions for my children than Robert Runcie or any member of the school board. Those moms, along with a group of parents and students, will hold a rally outside the Broward School Board office next Tuesday. I did reach out to the Broward School District. They told me they are still continuing to reach out to parents, and a new survey offering four options will be distributed to parents on June 29th. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 News.